Oh my god, why did I agree to this? Like, ugh, why? <laughs> What's up, lords and ladies? Welcome back to another video on this channel. So, <sighs> I don't know if you guys remember a couple videos ago, I promised some of you guys, or I promised my viewers, that I would eat a hornworm if the video got a thousand likes. Now, I underestimated the strength of my viewers, and you guys smashed the thumbs up like button. I think we're almost close to 2,000 likes on that video, which is doing really well. And like promise, I need to eat a hornworm. Uh, so here's the thing, I have a hornworm here, and it's, I don't know, I'll, I'll be straight up honest with you, if this was candy, it would actually be tasteful, and I sort of feel bad for the thing, like this thing is so cute, why would I want to eat this, like look at it, like this is mostly meant for my lizards, and I get it, this is what they eat, but this is not what I eat, like, oh, <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh my goodness, okay. So I'm just gonna have to like, I don't know, I can't do this, man. <laughs> but here's the thing, if I don't eat this hornworm, I'm gonna be known as the guy who didn't eat the hornworm, but if I eat the hornworm, I'm gonna be known as the guy who ate the hornworm. So either way, I have to either eat it or not eat it, and I have to live with it. All right, so I guess I'm just gonna have to go with it and just, <sighs> I don't know. I just gotta have to go with it. Another piece! What? So how did you even get on my shoulder? Well, I, I guess she ate it. I, that's the only one I had left. <laughs> Penelope to the rescue! Oh man, Penelope, like... <laughs> the one time that I allow her to actually steal from it has to be the one that I was gonna consume. <laughs> but honestly, uh, I thought about eating it, but I'm like, you know, a thousand likes is too soft. So if you really want to see me eat a hornworm, smash that thumbs up like button to 5,000 likes and then we'll do it. Because 1,000 likes was soft. That was like a little tease, okay? Even Penelope was like, is that all you guys got? A thousand likes? Really? Lord of Lion, just a thousand likes? No, man. <laughs> but seriously, uh, these hornworms are mostly meant for my reptiles, so I don't really want to be consuming um, <laughs> I don't know, something that I don't, I, I don't even know if it's safe to eat. But I'm really happy that Penelope uh, <laughs> came to the rescue. Man, Penelope, you're always getting yourself into trouble. You're always eating other people's food. Like, I actually wanted to eat that hornworm, you know that, right? Like, I was actually looking forward to eating that hornworm, but Penelope sold it, so, like, I can't even eat it now. Like, there's no more hornworms. Like, she ate them all. So technically, she saved me, and because of this whole entire thing, pandemic going on, I, I can't buy it until next week. So if you guys really want to see me eat a hornworm, you're going to have to smash that thumbs up like button. Let's get 5,000 likes, and maybe I'll consider eating one. Oh my goodness. But right now, what I'm going to be doing is a little bit of reptile work. I am going to be uh, feeding my bearded dragons uh, a couple of things. Uh, and I am going to be recording a couple videos during this week, so definitely subscribe and hit that post notification bell button. But let's go and let's go check out on the dragons. Let's go. Okay, so right now what we're going to be doing is giving my bearded dragons some water. Now if you've been following my miracle series where I basically raised a baby bearded dragon from an egg, you'll note that I give my bearded dragons water from a syringe. Now, as you can see, BB, she kind of already knows that that's what I'm going to do. So what I go inside of her enclosure, I basically give her water in a syringe. But um, because I've been doing that for a very long period of time, she already knows that there's water in her dish. So she already knows that this is water and that she could drink from it. However, the dish is over there that I use for her. Um, but I'm going to just maybe see if she wants to drink some water. BB. Here you go. So as I put water in here, she should run over there and drink some water. So come on, BB. Now, like I was saying, they don't really recognize 
water that isn't really moving so i do from time to time go in there and show her that there's water however like i was saying before um you don't really want to keep water dishes inside of their enclosure for too long because it does raise up their humidity so make sure that you are um, really aware on the humidity inside of your bearded dragon's enclosure if it's winter time the humidity might be low so you might be able to get away but here in canada because of the winter we can't really have uh our bearded dragons with water dishes inside of their enclosures what i found is that it raises the humidity way too much so so i do have to adjust my bearded dragons care according to their environment so here in canada because of the winters it is more dry but in the summertime it is really humid so the last thing i want to do is keep something like a water dish in here and it being way too humid for my bearded dragons so I am just gonna give BB some water, like so. And then later it'll be bath time to get rid of all of this stuck shed. As you can see, I'm just gonna help her out a little bit. Are you, like, <laughs> what kind of, dude, like what kind of position is this? Okay, that doesn't look comfortable. Let's put like this cactus here or something, I don't know. Give you some back support. So now that I gave BB some water, <laughs> uh, I could really see that my bearded dragons are thirsty. Uh, so Wilbur up here is probably thirsty too, all of my other ones too. So I am going to be giving them a bath, but not in this video. I, you know, might as well just make two videos off of this one. So I might do a spa date for my bearded dragon. So if that's something that you want to see me do, put in the comment section down below the letter S for spa date. So if you really want to see my bearded dragons have a little miniature spa date where, I don't know, I don't know if I go through their nails, but I basically give them water because she, hey girl, like, okay, are you, like, are you alive? <laughs> You're really that thirsty. So I do have to give them water, give them something to drink. That way, um, you know, they're good and they could just continue to grow and be a happy bearded dragon. So, like I said, uh, this just shows me that my bearded dragons need some, you know, love and some attention when it comes to giving them water. So I am gonna give them a bath, but I'll do that in a separate video. So, with that being said, that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys learned a little thing or two when it comes to the syringe. Um, I am gonna also be continuing the miracles update, so uh, stay posted for that. But that is it for this video. I'm Lord Orlion, this is BB. So keep the blood pumping, and I'll see you guys so in my go. next video. Here we go. Peace. You gotta hit that notification, hit that notification, hit that notification button, baby. You gotta hit that notification, hit that notification, hit that notification button, baby. You gotta hit.